Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to change the products per page in the Magento category pages. That's right. Now, a little note here, this is for the front end of your Magento website, not the administration area. So with that said, let's jump across to Magento and we'll catch up there with you in a few moments time. So Dave, I've been a jumped across to our Magento website and let me just scroll down a moment. And the setting which we're going to be changing is this show option. So can you see that we've got 12, 24 and 36 and we've also got the all option in here as well. Now in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to change the numbers which appear in this drop down box. So that will be your customers that can select these different options. We'll show you how to disable the all option and add in an additional number on here so that it allows your customers more flexibility on these pages. Now before we do that, I just want to point out that the page which you're looking at right now on our Magento website is called a product grid layout. So we've got products side by side. Now in your Magento website, you may have the list option set by default and I'll point this option out to you in a few moments. And if you scroll down, you can see that there are now a list. So you've got products one on top of each other Whereas by default on our Magento website, we have that set to a product grid instead. So let's jump across to our Magento admin area. Now, Dave, this setting's hiding, but it's really easy to find. So if you go to system, down to configuration. Now, if you scroll down the left-hand side until you see the catalog section. So I'm just gonna highlight this on the screen for you. And where it says catalog and then catalog, click on catalog on the left hand side menu. Excellent. Now Dave, all the settings which we need are in this top one up here at the top called front end. So click onto front end. Now I'm just gonna run through these settings because there's quite a few in here. And the first one is list mode. So if you prefer them to be a grid, then choose grid, which is what we've got by default in our Magento system. However, if you prefer the look of the list layout, then choose list as the default and then grid as a second option. Now it's obviously a personal choice for you. So we're just gonna point those sections out. Or if you only wanted the grid only and no list option, then you could then choose either of these options here. So we're gonna leave ours as grid, default forward slash list. Now products per page on grid allowed values. Now Dave, this is the values of the drop down box on our Magento website. Ah, uh, yes. So this is going up in 12, so I'm going to put in comma 48. Oh, hang on. Hey, oh. 448. <laughs> no, sorry, we're going to change that to 48. Now, you'll also see the default. So if you wanted to show more products on your category pages by default, that's where you can change the number. So maybe you wanted to show 24 products by default. You could change that number. So let's change that back to 12. Now the next setting is products per page on a list allowed value. So if you're using the list format, again, just pop in a comma on the end and we're gonna add in 48. And of course you can choose any numbers which fit your Magento website. And then we've got the product per page on the list default option. So again, if you wanted more products or less products, as the case may be, you can change that value. And the last setting which we're gonna show you is allow all products per page. Now, if I jump back to our Magento website, we've got that set as all right now, but you may have a very large catalog in Magento, maybe tens of thousands of products, and some of your categories may be absolutely huge. And showing them all per page will take forever for your customers to download. So all sounds like a good option, but if you've got more than 50 products in one category, then generally that's more of like a bad idea for it to be available for your customer because it's gonna slow it down for your customers on your website. So let's go back and we're gonna change allow all products per page and we're gonna set that to no. So Dave, when I go and press save config in a moment, we go back to our Magento website, we're expecting to see 48 in the drop down options and the all products per page is going to disappear. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So let's go and press save config. Now there is one extra step which we're going to show you because we don't know if you're using a full page cache extension on your Magento website. So we're going to nip to system, down to cache management, then on the left hand side, click on select all 
and then on the right hand side click on submit. Now if you're not too sure what a full page cache extension is then we have a separate video tutorial for that and that's on the Understanding E website so if you nip across to understandinge.com and then take a look for the tutorials a full page cache extension will help your website or specifically your Magento website run much much faster by caching your products and your categories and the different pages on your Magento website. Anyway with that said Let's just jump back to our Magento website and Dave, I'm gonna refresh this page. So I've just right clicked and choose reload or you could just hit the reload icon at the top. And now in our show per page is that we've got 12, which we had before, 24, 36, and our additional option 48. And Dave, can you also see that all is now missing from that drop down box? Yep. And of course, if you were using a product list instead, then the extra option which we added in, so 48, is now in this drop down box and also the all option has been removed from there too. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.